Washington got to the playoffs last year. They won the division. They have five straight division games to end the season. Week two, they play the Giants. And then no more games against teams from the NFC East until week 14. And there it is. Cowboys, Eagles, Cowboys, Eagles, Giants. What what a strange way to end your season. But, you know, uh, Miles, it very well could be that the schedule makers look at it and say, hey, we don't know what's going to happen in the NFC East. And it may be none of the above again. And uh, maybe it makes for an interesting stretch run if the team that won the division last year is running the easier gauntlet of its division to end the season. Well, no, I mean, they basically are in the playoff hunt throughout the season, right? I mean, if they get to that stretch and they're around 500, then they should, in theory, be able to catch somebody in the division if all you do is play divisional games through, you know, the last five games of the season. I I mean, I don't know how much I love it if I'm Washington that I don't play any familiar opponents for so long in the season. Um, but at the same time, like, that's really, I don't want to say controlling your destiny, but, you know, whatever it is, you know, you get to really have a, a, a real good sense of control over whether or not you make the post season when you have that many division contests I feel like in the back half of the year leave that if, pull, pull that back up if you can because the NFC East was bad last year this oh. year every team in the NFC East plays every team in the AFC West and every team in the NFC South that does not bode well for one of these four teams going 12 and 4 and Washington which I continue to believe is the best team in the division because they won it last year. They get the Packers. They get the Seahawks. The other teams in the division don't get the Packers or the Seahawks. Now, you know, they're going to have to play other teams in the NFC West, which which are pretty good, but they don't get the best teams. The first place team plays those best teams in the other two divisions where they don't play every team. It's it could be another seven and nine, maybe even a six and ten champion in the in the NFC East this year, Miles, because just the schedule doesn't doesn't fit well for those four teams. They're going to have some tough games. Well, the schedule also doesn't fit what you just said. I believe it would be eight and you know nine. Oh, or that's right. That's seven right. and I'm ten, or six and eleven. Come on, Mike. You know I we gotta get, we gotta I be. Can't get used to it. Well, you better. You know, we got to be flexible. We got to be docile. You know, we got to react to all the different things that are happening here, man. It's a new age. They got number it's, linebackers are going to be wearing number 11. <laughs> you know, it's just it's the way things are now. One thing I've been trying to remind myself of when I talk about this new season, it is the first time there's ever been 17 games. It's not the first time there's ever been 18 weeks. There was an 18-week season back when you were in diapers, 1993. I assume you were still in diapers. What were you, four then? Um, uh, no, you were two. Like two. When was your birthday? And what, what, When did you turn two in October? When? I turned two in October. What day? There's another hint for you. It's September? My birthday is okay. not Ooh, in October. Oh, it's September. Oh, it's oh, September. So uh, anyway, uh, there was an 18-week season then because there were two buys. And uh, so this is the second time there's an 18-week season, but 17 games. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.